We're here today to talk about building a future for Creighton University. First, we'll talk a little bit about the challenges that are impacting higher education as a whole and then Creighton specifically. We'll follow that up with some discussion about financial goals and then how we will go about achieving our goals by working together to chart a sustainable course for Creighton's future. First, a little perspective on the challenges from a knowledgeable source on higher education. Moody's Investor Services is a rating agency that evaluates financial position of organizations and industries in connection with establishing credit ratings. In many respects, it's like the personal credit rating agencies that you're probably familiar with. Moody's observation is that the hiring and wage freezes and the suspension of capital projects that most universities, including Creighton, implemented in response to the economic downturn were temporary solutions at best. Moody's believes that fundamental restructuring of the university business model will be required to regain and maintain financial stability. And that there's a need for stronger management of operating costs and for funding of major projects. So it's important to understand that the challenges are very real for the university. To ensure long-term financial stability, we need to make sure that we do more than just break even. To reinvest in the university, we need to plan for ongoing annual financial surpluses. The average net tuition per full-time freshman has actually declined in years. So if you think about that, the price that we are receiving for the service we provide has actually gone down. This decline creates pressure to increase enrollment, which in and of itself isn't bad, but must be done in a planned fashion. Unfortunately, the outlook for the future also indicates a flat pool of graduates with declining ability or willingness to pay for college. Fewer students will perceive themselves as being able to afford a private education. We operate in a very competitive local health care environment as well. Flat and declining reimbursement levels are expected for the foreseeable future and that adds to the challenge. Regardless of the causes, the economy or whatever we may place the blame on, it is our collective responsibility to make the changes required for future success. You could look at the university as three general areas, the health sciences, academic affairs, and the administrative or support operations. These areas have been combined and compared to a three-legged stool. Creighton requires the support and cooperation of all three elements to succeed and prosper. We are in very interdependent. For an example, give some thought to this. Creighton professional schools play a major role in attracting the more than 60% of our undergraduate students who consider themselves as pre-professional. On a further extreme, about 30% of our students consider themselves as pre-medicine majors coming in as a freshman. Clearly not all those students will end up in medical school, either at Creighton or at other institutions, but it does give you an idea of the important influence that the professional and graduate programs have on our undergraduate population. Certainly undergraduate programs and effective tuition pricing are also critical for our success. They really form the foundation for the university's financial stability. Likewise, Creighton support operations are critical to the entire university and need to be effective and efficient for the university to be successful as a whole. Like a three-legged stool, every division impacts the others. We can't look at our challenges as someone else's problem. It's important to note that we are also heavily dependent on tuition and clinic operations as sources of revenues to fund our operations. Undergraduate tuition revenue per student has actually declined recently because families are finding it harder to afford tuition due to diminished savings and investments, less money available for loans, wage freezes, job losses, and other factors. There is an overall reluctance to shoulder greater debt to finance college education. In addition, clinical revenue is down due to overall declines in the economy, as well as increased competition in the local market, including opening of two new healthcare facilities in the last year. The number of patients admitted has declined, as well as the number of patient visits to our clinics. Uh, to put it very simply, 
uh, our expenses are increasing at a rate that's faster than our revenues. Obviously, this is not a sustainable long-term situation. Past initiatives, although important and very necessary to balance the budget in the short term, did not solve the problem for the long term. They did not result in increased capacity for our other initiatives. Short-term solutions have not enabled us to generate the funds necessary for investing in our strategic priorities. So as necessary as they have been, they do not represent the type of fundamental change that Moody's referred to earlier. This slide will put a little perspective on where our resources come from and how we use or spend them. About 80% of our revenue comes from students in the way of tuition, fees, and room and board expenses, and from clinical operations. That's obviously a very high concentration. Roughly three-fourths of our expenses are comprised in salaries and benefits. The remainder of the expenses consist of contracted services, supplies, utilities, rent repairs, and various other operating expenses. While these numbers may not be too surprising to many of you, it hopefully illustrates where the opportunities and challenges lie in terms of the finances. So how do we further improve our finances? One way to approach improvements is to look at decisions about what we do. In this area, the strategic program prioritization process has begun to identify opportunities to focus resources on our highest priorities. This focus will continue as we move forward with future strategic planning initiatives. We can't afford to do everything, so focusing on what's core to our mission is critical. Another way to look at financial improvements is to evaluate decisions about how we do our work. An example of that is a Xerox print program uh, where we're implementing fundamental changes in the way we deliver those services to improve our overall financial performance from printing operations. Another area that we are researching is implementations that made at other universities to successfully reduce uh, expenses and improve financial performance. Based on the research, we will evaluate vendor spending to identify opportunities to consolidate volume and reduce prices. We'll also be reviewing spending policies and what we spend our money on to identify savings. There are a number of other opportunities to pursue here as well. In addition, we'll be evaluating the processes and tools we use to do our work to look for opportunities for efficiencies. Some longer term improvement opportunities really center around increasing and diversifying our sources of revenue. There may be opportunities for new programs that leverage elements of existing programs to construct unique offerings that will fulfill a need in the market and potentially generate new funds. These areas complement one of our competitive advantages, which is our diversity of programs combined with our relatively small size. If we understand our capacity for enrollment appropriately by program and our capacity to support those numbers through student support and other services, we can also look for opportunities to strategically grow enrollment and increase our net tuition per student in existing programs. We have also begun planning a strategy for increasing philanthropic support at the university, or essentially gift income. I want to start this next slide with the bottom of the, the, the very bottom of the slide, which refers to our mission. Our commitment is to our mission, uh, that we exist for students and learning, and that has not changed. In fact, it needs to remain for us to be successful. Our commitment will be strengthened by an increased focus on ensuring adequate resources are available to support mission activities. To ensure that we continue to manage our finances responsibly, we need to have a balanced budget each year and we need to generate funds for investment in strategic priorities. We have established an initial financial goal to achieve a $10 million improvement in our bottom line. This will facilitate balancing the fiscal year 2012 budget and begin to build the adequate operating reserves that I referred to. We'll also be working to establish long-term goals for levels of reserves needed to ensure financial stability. So how do we participate in helping position Creighton for the future? 
Collaboration and teamwork resulting in improved efficiency and service and lower cost will be very important going forward. There will be opportunities to work on process improvement teams. I should also note that we expect that over the next few years, positions will be reduced and or reallocated to other priorities such as new programs. We are committed to using natural attrition and retirements as much as possible to manage through these changes, but it is also not realistic to assume that all changes can be accomplished this way. Additionally, we need to scrutinize vacant positions to determine if each is essential to the mission before making a decision to refill that position. Another way to participate is to uh, participate by recommending family, friends, and neighbors that they utilize Creighton physicians. It's in all of our best interest for the patient volumes in the clinics to improve. Faculty and staff can encourage others to utilize Creighton physicians by referring them to the Find a Physician page on the Creighton website or call the Creighton Access Line for scheduling appointments. Employees also have an opportunity through the health plan to obtain financial savings and incentives, cost incentives for uh, visiting Creighton clinicians. If you have other ideas where we can improve our efficiency and reduce costs, please take the opportunity to discuss them with your coworkers and supervisors. It's important that we all remember going forward, be adaptable, be collaborative. Those will be important factors in our long-term success. Now we can't just sit back and hope that our finances improve. The challenges do not represent a passing storm. They're here to stay. The challenges are also significant. However, the future is under our control. This work, although substantial, is going to make a positive difference going forward for students, faculty, and staff for years to come. It should be exciting to be a part of that. Working together, we can ensure that Creighton continues to deliver excellence in its academic research and clinical activities in the Jesuit Catholic tradition. Thank you for your attention, and please participate in making Creighton's future as successful as it can be. Thank you.